Okay, will your child be a walker or be bust? That'll be a function of this Monday's meeting. I put in a motion to bus all the students and protection of the district. It looks something like this. There's a director's concern. Motion for the board of school directors to use their lawful authority as a local government, right? We have this authority to make sure that this is something we spend your money on, right? To uh, provide transportation for anyone that seeks it to the school of their choice. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's just like it was last year, right? This will be provided without a tax increase. Removing corruption or waste. What do we mean by corruption and waste? We'll show it to you. But I think more importantly, or as importantly, not only do we need to bust these students that 70 times safer, not 70%, but 70 times safer, but we need to do it in a reasonable amount of time. You don't need a kindergarten child sitting on a bus for an hour, right? We don't need a first grader sitting on the bus with a middle school student. They should be separated. They The time should be commensurate to their age. And uh, I'm looking at 35 minutes or so for the younger students. And we I think we should be able to get busing for everyone else under the 50 minute mark, uh, meeting the state requirements for COVID and also uh, helping with the um, with the private and public schools. Okay, so instead, as soon as this went out, which by the way, this went out at about 1047 this morning, all of a sudden you get this other thing from the district. Here's their plan, right? Here it is. So this is the plan from the district. Apparently the administration, not the board, but the administration is trying to get the board to rubber stamp this after we said, let's have a discussion and let's try to get this funded by whatever means necessary to remove corruption and waste. Okay, so here's what they're trying to do instead. This is the administration. This is probably what's going to try to get rubber stamped through a blind trust. This showed up today at 2.52 p.m. to the board of school directors, right, only. And it talks about who reside in PDE's approved walking boundary. This plan does not include busing for students who reside in PDE's approved walking boundary. So what's that mean? So here we go. Pupil, pupil transportation. The law requires school district to ask the child, regardless of age, to walk up to a mile and a half to the bus stop. Love exercise. Not what we're talking about. We're talking about safety of students. Right? They're safer on about 70 times, not 70% safer, 70 times safer. Put them on a bus. Let's see how many kids we're talking about. Okay. So it says up to a mile and a half measured by public roads. It does not include private lane or walkway of the child's residence. So if you live out there somewhere, let me get me out of here. So if you live out there somewhere, anywhere between there and, and the school, you're a mile and a half from the school. Therefore, the administration's plan is to not bus these people. Let's take a look at another direction. That's the mile and a half walking distance. 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 Are you seeing this, people? mile and a half walking distance. Oh, let's take a look at the registered sex offender list in Lee Heighton. All right, we have enough of this yet. These five rubber stampers are failing to protect our students, right? 70 times safer, 70 times. You can actually just type in 70 times safer Right? There you go. School buses. 70 times safer. Document it. Let's protect these students. Let's get them the busing they need. Not that big a deal. Corruption and waste. What are you talking about corruption and waste? Here we go. How about this one? This goes back to the elementary center. Phil's Brothers Electrical didn't get paid. Right? Now they're looking for nine months worth of interest 
and attorney's fees. Why aren't we paying our bills? Right? Why are they raising taxes instead of cutting all this excess benefits that are not needed to be commensurate within the community? The board has the authority. We have the authority. The elected individuals within the district, the ones you elected to look after your dollars, every dollar collected, every dollar dispersed. Public servants providing for the public trust, 70 times safer, and yet not found within the budget, couldn't find that couple hundred thousand dollars, right? Couldn't find it, wasn't available. Like we said before, couple hundred thousand dollars, we get reimbursed. They're sticking it to you, man. They're sticking it to you. We got to protect these students, save the community. Thank you.